Smart Lee whisper, this is David. Can I help you? Hello, David. Are you a bee man? I am. Are you really in Sioux City? What? So, are you really in Sioux City? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what can I do for you? I got a problem with bees. Okay. Outside are you are you house? the one that messaged me? <clears throat> are I you the one that I messaged, messaged me you. earlier? I'm not sure if it's not through, but I, I I said, Oh, I'm having a problem with bees. I typed it out. That could have been me. And, and I'm out of state. Have are you snake? in Tennessee or are you out of state? Out of state. Is this Alyssa Smith? No, this is not Alyssa. Okay. Then how can I help you? And where are you located? I'm in Sioux City. Okay, you are in Sioux City, uh, Iowa. Uh huh. Okay. I'm in Memphis, I've, Tennessee. I've got... Okay. Do you so travel? Do you have. <clears throat> I do, but I don't go to Iowa. So I got a call for France. What do you got against Iowa? Nothing against Iowa. It's just a long drive. I don't think I can make it there and back in one day. Take a plane. Take a plane. Well, then I'd have to buy a bunch of equipment once I got there. Mm. So You can't pack it up with you? No, not on the plane. They won't let me bring my knives. Oh, your bee Yep, my knives. Yep. So, do you have a swarm of bees hanging around on the house, or do you have bees that have actually moved into your house? They haven't come inside yet, but they're all up all over the wall. Okay, do you have a picture of that? I can draw a picture, I guess. I mean, take a picture or a photo? My camera's busted. Okay. Uh, your cell phone? Yeah, the camera on my cell phone is busted. Okay. Uh, if you could get somebody uh, to get a video or a photo and have them I text it to this number. I could, Ma'am? I could try to describe it. Uh? Try to describe it to me? Okay. About yeah. how big is the, is the mass of these? It's like a, it like goes like goes whoosh up about like a five feet or so. About five feet. Is it long or is it circular? It's kind of long. Okay. Is it above or below the first floor of your house? It starts it, on the know? bottom and it works. It's about about half fifty fifty. About half of the first floor. Yes. They're very okay. silly bees. <clears throat> okay. They're just hanging there right now. So Yeah, you must they're, probably they're killing. you have a well, you must probably have a swarm on the side of your house. And they're looking for a place to move. So we're in swarm season, it's how the hives reproduce. And they've been left with the old queen and about half the colony. And they, they're taking a rest off on your house. Now, the problem with them resting on your house is while they're there, they're going to look for nooks and crannies on, on the walls to see if they can find a place to move into. So my recommendation is to reach right. out to your Should county. I out? Should I no, move into move my out. car? No. <laughs> you should be good right there. They, they, they're not going to come into the living space of your home. They're going to move into a space in your walls or your ceiling. Is there an incantation that I can say that be like B Z Z keep no. away three? <clears throat> no. Uh it doesn't, like doesn't work in very life. well. Sort of like you ram you to the I know self be true from uh uh oh, I can't remember what the name that movie was, but uh what I recommend is reach out to your county extension agent 
and they should have a list of beekeepers who are willing to come and get swarms. And uh, they can have somebody out there tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. I tried blowing marijuana smoke in their faces, but they seem to like it. No, they don't really. It makes them lethargic. The smoke confuses their huh. ability to communicate with each other, whether whether it's uh, marijuana or grass or it's uh, old blue jeans, whatever we use in our smokers. Uh, smoke, they speak with oh. pheromones. So it confuses their ability to talk to each other. Oh, no. That makes me feel sad now. Yeah, it's like turning the TV up really loud and trying to have a conversation with Granny. Just not going to happen. Oh. I don't know. Is is there, is it, can you put like a woman on the phone, please? Well, I could, but she's not the beekeeper. Okay. I thought that so, I always thought that women knew more about bees because of like the buzzing <laughs> and like the phrase, the phrase yeah. "bee in your bonnet." Well, bees have been in a lot of bonnets, and about two hundred years ago, women were the actual beekeepers, not the men. But you go back about huh. four thousand years, and the men were the beekeepers again, not the women. And if you go back uh, even more than that, say eight thousand years. And it's the guys again. And they were basically just honey gatherers, not keepers. They would just go to uh, crevices in cliffs or in trees, and they would harvest honey from there and bring home. Oh, so, can you give a bee a little high five? You can, as long as they're not in a hive. So they, they, are, they are social. But when it comes to their hive itself, they're very defensive of it. So what I'm going to do, i got you on the phone right now. I'm going to see if I can send you a text. This is for the Woodbury County Extension. You call them in the morning. Okay. And they will uh, tell you who the beekeeper is in your area who could come and get the swarm. We actually um, work with extension agents in all the in all the states, and if he doesn't know or she doesn't know who the the beekeepers are, he, they can get you the number to the local beekeeping oh, association. Ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get this texted to you with what you need to ask for, and they should be able to get somebody tomorrow to help you with the swarm, okay? Should and I put your the name? beans in my shirt? My name is Mimi. In your where? Mimi? In my, in my shirt. I'm putting the bees in my shirt. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. But For you or the bees. Because, no, oh, it they don't may like be exhilarating, hair. but now the problem with it is, is that if they get in there and they get stung, if you get stung by them, then the bees die. They lose their stingers. Oh, no. So, so we do everything we can to avoid killing them. So uh, if they sting you defensively, unfortunately, uh, it kills them. So uh, try not to try not to mess with them, okay? But I'll get a text okay. to you here shortly, just in the next minute or two, okay? Are you going to text me your picture? No. No. <laughs> My picture's on, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You can see me there. Uh, but you have a TikTok? I, did. I do. Is it about do you <laughs> do stuff with bees? I do with bees. I do I do things with bees. So it's it's Ooh. about what we can do with bees. So yeah. Ham boy. And uh and there's a lot more. It's uh it's Bartlett Bee Whisperer. And uh, some of it's kind of crazy whisper? looking. Yep. Wait, you're kind of crazy looking? I look like an old man. How old are you? Well, 
Today I feel 12 years old. Some days I feel 80. But uh, I'm in my 50s. Huh. Old enough to be, have gray hair and a gray beard. <clears throat> you look like an old man. But you have youthful That's types. Right. I I do have a very youthful personality. And because of what I do with bees, I'm physically active and I continue, I continue moving. Whereas uh, other people my age have slowed down. I work with kids. You're good at. I work with. Them. I try. I try. I work with kids. I work with uh, youth and college Aww. kids to uh, teach them about bees and uh, and try to help the the whole environment. And help bees get into college? Uh, we do actually. Uh, I have set up bees at colleges for the uh, science programs. So they've gotten free bees from me. And the bees they have don't gotten get the a free but... education? <laughs> no, they don't. I don't know if they get educated there, but the kids are educated on bees and how our environment needs them. You're being, hey, hey, you're being a buzzkill. I'm not trying. <laughs> uh, on a lighter note, I've been sober for 34 years. You've been what? Yeah. Sober for 34 oh, years. Uh, how is that relevant? Well, you said I was a buzzkill. Oh, but like you, because you were, you were like. <laughs> I had an idea. Every time I have an idea, you'd be like, oh, well, actually, blah, blah, blah. And you keep well, doing well, I, that. I educate. I educate. <clears throat> so I try to make sure that people have the right information. Okay. It's in a way that kind of so the right information. my mouth. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to text out to you shortly. What are you doing okay. tonight? Um, was eating pizza. What kind of pizza? Domino's. You put honey on it? No. I like I like the uh, marinara sauce. That's the tomato sauce they put on it. Okay, that's great. Good okay. I'm yeah. going to get back to my pizza, so enjoy your evening. All right. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you, too. Love everybody. Oh, You're supposed to. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. That's cool. Well, we'll see you, Mimi, in Sioux City. Ohio. And I'll have a text out yeah. shortly. Okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.